Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. James Karyuki is next in the den, hoping for significant investment from the Lions into his alternative fuel cooking stove. Hello, Lions. I'm delighted to be here. My name is James Karyuki. When I was born in a rural village where we used to use firewood for cooking, I have first-hand experience on the pains of cooking smoke pollution. Today in Kenya, four million homes earning uh, an income of about 300 shillings and above that cannot afford to buy LPG buy very small quantities of very expensive smoke polluting charcoal and kerosene. We innovated and invented by a motto to address that problem, to provide an LPG cooking experience for the people who cannot afford the LPG. It is 30% cheaper to cook with by a motto than charcoal, kerosene, or firewood. It is more thermal efficient. We have uh, done 116 handmade prototypes. We sold them out for between 2,700 and 3,500 inside a week. And we generated 3,000 back orders for, from people who want to buy the product. We have two value chains. We have the cooker, and we, we are producing, we are using alcohol, denatured alcohol power alcohol. It has no smoke, it has no soot, it has no smell. We have a patent for it. The patent was issued in January this year. Uh, we knew the sugar cane industry was failing. We developed a sugar beet, two sugar beet varieties that will give us 20 tons per hectare in four months compared to 6.8 tons per hectare in 18 months for sugar cane. We are going to sell uh, the seed to the farmers then we buy the crop back from the farmers. We put it in our biorefinery. We produce sugar, we produce power alcohol, and we produce animal feed. We are looking at starting with a sale of uh, 6,000 cookers every year for the next two years. Then that will grow to 60,000 by the third year. But by the third year, we want to do a biorefinery that will do 10 tons of sugar beet. 60 tons of sugar beet per day. It will give us 10 tons of sugar, 5,000 liters of fuel, and three tons of animal feed. That will give us history and track record uh, to go for, a, for an IPO in the next three or four years. We want to sell off 25% of the company and raise about 8.4 billion to do 1,200 tons of sugar per day plant. I'm looking for 35 million for 10% equity in the company. We already have authority from the ERC to go to the market and to build our biorefinery. Personally, I put in about 35 million since we started that. That was 15 years ago. A detailed pitch and a large ask for a big vision. Will Karyuki ignite a flame in the lions and convince them to invest? You light it up like a gas cooker. It's working. This fuel, if you put it in your car, you also drive off. Then you can regulate. So when you turn it off, yes, it's off now. Okay. It's this cold. And if you <laughs> shake it, nothing happens. <laughs> it will not spill fuel. What? It will never explode. What? Where's the fuel? Where's the liquid? This is a patent. So we have patent technologies inside that holds uh, <laughs> the product. <laughs> so if, if it turns, Upside down, it's, it's, your, it's your grab that you pour. It's not there. It, it will not burn your home. Can you see the fear? The fear? Yeah. There's a fear. It has no smoke, no smell. No smoke, no smell. Uh, you can pack it together with unga mm. in the same crammed cupboard. So are you already selling it? We are at this point in time now building the cooks of factory. We have the equipment already ordered, some of them. We, are, we have a pilot to do 200 liters of this per day. It's not economical because it's in Nairobi. So how, how, how far are you from getting to market? I mean, we to be, are having going to this... be in the market by November okay. with both products. And now I'm looking for funding. We want to go global. We need a lot of money. 
I'm looking for the first tranche here. Within one year, we look for the second tranche. Within three years, we go for an IPO because we need to go big. Because a big uh, the 1,200 ton plant, we will need uh, 8.4 billion. That is one, one billion, uh, seven million euros. And, uh, and uh, if we are replicating in Tanzania, it's the same amount of money, about. And we want to be in those six, six countries in the next, uh, by 2030. The entrepreneur has shared his dream with the lions. Now he can only hope that they are impressed and ready to invest. So, Mr. Karaoke, I, I, I think, I think what you've done is absolutely phenomenal. Um, never quite seen anything like that, especially somebody taking a stove and holding it over their head. That was. Uh, Surprising, <laughs> but um, what you need right now with your big ambition, which is which is great, is really a, a partner that has experience of taking a business and scaling it to those billions of dollars. So I have to say I'm out, but I do wish you the best, and I hope I hope to see this product changing lives across the country. So, Mr. Karaoke, thank you very much. I genuinely feel that your if I can call it invention, definitely the stove is gonna go places. Um, I also feel that biofuels is the way forward. At this point, I don't feel passionate about this area and I hate to put in investments in places that I'm not passionate about. So for that reason, I'm out. So James, fantastic. I mean, it's revolutionary what you've done. Um, this space also has a lot of R&D going into it. Go looking at what's happening in the space, it's a bit difficult to, to really understand. I think I need to see some traction also. It's just, you know, at idea stage at this stage. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm out. But what I will offer is, you know, some, I'll, I'll make some resources in my group available to you on various elements, you know, offer a helping hand. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I like the idea, but I don't have the patience. So I'm out. Um, yeah, same here. I, I generally, as an investor, I don't like being in an investment that's looking for many rounds. Um, but I think you're doing fantastic things, and I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you so much. I'm out. I appreciate our follow-up on the offer. Investment decisions. People take risk. Others don't take risk. I think we are on time, and we are going to go to the market, and we will conquer that market. Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank.